Look at that note. So our, desti our destination is just somewhere around here, huh? Is she gonna be okay? I don't know yet, honestly. Do not have enough information. Why don't we all go camping? I just will get some use out of the new car. You mean it? Hey there, you seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. Hmm. We've got freebies galore, folks! Well, come isn't on, that just... come on! Treat you and yours to something special... Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. What do you think's gonna happen to our baby? I just wish we could have mm. seen face. Hey, let's give them a name. We may not know what's gonna happen. I have so much to be grateful for. I love it. How are you gonna spend your final day? This is gonna be our last picture. Know this guy? Never seen him. Hope that to my arms. Could be. <laughs> Actually, better check it out. I should have said something sooner. Wish I could have gone to Costa Del. If this is gonna be our last picture together, I want it done by a pro. Let me. Oh, you so, what do you think is gonna happen to her? These days, every time I sleep. That's gotta be Avalanche again. Give us a break already. That was the church, right? Of all the places, why? Is it true? Yeah, there was a riot? Right? Enough already! Did that war over by the church? What the hell was that? What? I don't How think I could handle up? seeing any more bodies. Can't we have a moment's peace? That looks really bad. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. Is that? <laughs> There's our man. You forgot this is where we were? Oh boy. Welcome to it. And we immediately left. We're gone. It's over already. Ah, pardon me. So where are we bound this fine day? South. Far south. And what's there? Not Corel, that's what. Else death on it. Very well, south it is. Hold on to your hats. And there's the new chapter. Hey, Robocat, you act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy paste, and forwarder of emails. Another Shinra laptop. Am I driving? Lap cat. 
No. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now. This is a road trip. We should be bonding, not fighting. Oh. Barrett, promise me. You won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. Oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just. Just wait! We'll find somewhere to... Pull over! She's about to pop! Wait, Lassie! Not in the buggy! Not in the buggy! Feeling any better? Uh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself... a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow! Meow, 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 meow. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um, mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait, Barrett. You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor. Did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Naga? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Hi, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? All I right. forgot we probably don't Notice get a sand chocobo because of green. the bug. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. Wow, he joined the party! He joined the party! Buggy is capable of traversing not only land, but shallow waters as well, and faster than the average chocobo at that. Press down to call the buggy. Okay. Roll over transportation materials while riding I'll collect them automatically. Alright. No sand chocobo. I, I, I really, I don't know why I thought that we would get one. This makes all of the sense. Gold Saucer is offering new experiences of some of its attractions. Your success in the Chocobo Cup means you can now compete more Chocobo races. Muscle Egg Coliseum has also started offering six-person team bouts. Six-person teams? But I have seven people in my party. So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor's smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. Ah, you guessed it. Wait, maybe the world's not. favorite funga. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. All right, well. So where is our actual destination? Oh, down here. Oh, shit. 
Well, that's a new region, though. So we can use the buggy to get to a new place, it looks like. It looks like if we just were to follow the road this way, it would lead us through kind of a canyon down here along the water. And then we can buggy across right here to get to where we need to go. Okay, noted. I kind of just want to hit up this nearby tower. It's going to annoy me so much if I've been having... So I, I did make some changes while I was... So I can just drive through this? Wow. I did make some changes to my router's configuration. I'm hoping... It's part of the reason why I things are working okay. But it's actually going to really annoy me if it is, because I don't know why it seemed like I had a good leak. Why is it doing that? So if I go this way, back up. I, uh, I turned on denial of service protection, which is kind of a weird thought that I even had, but so I can drive across this now too, look at that, cool. Um, It annoys me if that is what the problem has been, but I will be happy regardless. But literally, since I changed that setting, it's really bounced back and is working well right now. Yeah, you don't even have to push the button for that stuff. But of course, it's during a day. Oh, what's up? Of course, it's during a day where I'm probably now going to get lost in all the side stuff that's available. I'm going to be honest, a small change that I think would go a long way with this game, and this might sound weird, is I wish the owls and the... Um, and the little chocobo... Well, I guess the chocobos for the chocobo stops is fine. But I wish the owls wouldn't show up until you'd activated the relevant tower. Um, which might sound weird, but my thought process is more along the lines of, like... It, it almost defeats the purpose of activating the, to the tower and popping up all of the locations that you should be interested in finding. If I don't even need the tower to find half the locations, you know? Alright, let's fight these guys. Who's in my party? What the fuck? Are, what are what are we even about to just embark on? So he's just here now. Fuck me. Okay. I also wish there were more party slots. Because if we're gonna get to nine, if we're gonna get Sid, and we're gonna get Vincent as well. But Cloud has to be in every party. Yeah, it's it won't let me change him out still. Maybe if I change the leader? Nope, if I change the leader, it doesn't matter. So that's gonna, like... I know they, they might actually be following the, the OG game, because you can't swap Cloud out of the OG party for a really long time in the game. So, that could be it. Wait, hold on a sec. Is it nine? Am I forgetting somebody? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's have party one be Tifa Barrett. Let's have party two be Red Yuffie. And let's have party three be... Cancel off Cloud out in the OG unless he's sick and that's temporary. 
Yeah, I thought when he returns to the Mantor again, is he? I thought towards the very end of the game you could do full swap arounds. Because I remember Cloud always ends up super over leveled compared to everybody because uh, it doesn't have EXP sharing and he's mandatory in the party. But I thought you could kind of fix that by the end of the game where he's not quite so over leveled. Do you split up in the crater for a bit? Yeah. That's not really what I'm thinking of, though. That's like a section, yeah. I was I was thinking more permanent. I know what you're talking about, though, but I could just be misremembering. That's definitely happened to me before, so. Uh, party three, party three, party three. Let's do... Free switching is not a thing. Hmm. Yeah, and which... It is what it is, I guess. Wait, did I put Aerith in a party? I didn't put Aerith in a party. Alright, let's do that. That actually does work. Having six people with three parties does just make it so that you just have one of each combination of Cloud and two other people. But still is. So you have a yellow megaphone. I already have Roll the Dice learned. Resulting effect varies depending on which... I kind of wish this has happened with every party member. I don't know why they all have their first ability learned. Like, why didn't I get to do that? Stir City Microphone provides considerable vocal resonance. Deal damage great or small, or perhaps just get your fortune told. Oh, Lord. Forgot that his whole shtick is the RNG shit. Alright, well, what materia did you have? Empowerment? Oh, he has a magnify materia. <laughs> he has a magnify materia. And a level boost materia. Which he has on a luck. Oh, I wonder if his shit actually works with luck. I have one free summon materia right now. Damage dealt by Moogle, 10. Reduced damage taken by 15. Basic attack damage by 5. Debuff extension. Let's get max MP. And let's do damage by Moogle up. I'm taking this. You can have... Uh, a 3 star HP up materia. Instead. Luck level boost. I guess that's fine. Aerith. Take this magnify materia, please. <laughs> Thank you. Cleansing, autocast, prayer, spirit up, wind, ice, has Shiva, familiar, 200 HP, critical hit, critical hit damage, tempest boost, wind damage, Let's get the hit points. On your way to 200? That's a hell of a goal. That is a hell of a goal. Alright. You should get an accessory. I've got plenty. What do you look like? Balance, attack, and magic attack. Defense, strength, fight, magic, vitality. 
I guess we should probably saddle you with something that augments your luck. Yeah, take these from Yuffie because I want Yuffie to use the the stealing gauntlets anyway. Because she should still have a steel materia. There it is. She also has morph, but I have morph on cloud, and I don't need anybody else to really have. Why don't you ATB boost? Yeah, actually, that's fine. Put that on. You have an auto-cast materia set that's doing nothing. Vitality here for Barrett. Since I don't really want him auto casting healing magic, it's nice for him to have access to healing magic. It's another. But honestly, I might put this on somebody else. What does he have set? He has fortification. He's no magic. What magic abilities do you know, Barrett? That's the wrong thing. Fire Impulse and Gale Impulse. So yeah, he should have an Ice or a Lightning Materia. Really. In this slot instead. Or I could do Fire. He'd get the Alpha from it then. I don't have any... I have two Fire Materia and nobody with them set. I just have the one fire and ice on Tifa. Yuffie has a lightning and I have a shitload of those. I've got two winds and a lightning and wind. Why don't you just do a fire materia for me? What would you like to... What, what Ruru? What can I help you with today? Hmm? What can I help my dear sweet Ruru with? You want to get up and say hi? There's a whip kid. Hi, how are you? I'm playing a game like I always do at this time means you're interrupting me, aren't you? Okay, great. Bye, kitty. Alright. I am also realizing somebody should get revive set. And I think it's gonna be Tifa. 
Or red, actually. You know what? I will. I'll do red. He has a bunch of purple shit on. Why do you have so much purple shit on, Red? First strike and steadfast block and ATB stagger and precision defense. I, keep, I think he, with steadfast block with and filling ATB, let's do... Let's give you let's give you the revival materia. I like that plan. And swap it over there. Swap those around. Cool. All right. A little bit of character maintenance done, and I've got these three in the party, which I may regret. It looks like. Ketchy got a level boost up to Cloud's level, which is good for him. And uh, honestly, Aerith is like the only... Uh, uh, maybe I'll find a new rod for her soon. Yuffie's the furthest behind in level. Everybody else is about three quarters of the way through 31. Let's, okay, I'm gonna change my mind. Let's put Yuffie in for this party and let's swap Yuffie and Aerith there. And I need to find an upgrade spot, but for now, I'm so curious. So he seems to be able to summon his little Moogle. You do this fast. Oh, my, my. I think I fucked that up. I think I remember how to fight these things. Now, Ready? Can you stop that? Fucker. I seriously got fucking poisoned again. Let's go. Let's go. Don't think you'll walk away from this. Party's changed now. I was going to. I need to swap Barrett's weapon. Hello? What? Um. Huh? What? Where's the ladder?
there a way up this rock? Do I need to... Oh, oops. Buggy's here. Okay, yeah, the, the leader doesn't change who's exploring. get to activate this run wave tower right now? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Back party. We're leaving you for there. I think. Damn. Oh nope, she got to the ground. How? We'll never know. Alright, I'm gonna force everybody to take a break with me. I'm gonna eat my uh, food. I just got some food and it's nice and hot, so I'm gonna eat it now. And then we'll I'm just gonna be real with you guys. It's been a long it's been a hot minute coming. We're probably just gonna do Intel stuff all day today. I know we're already partway through the region, so it may not take all all day, but we've got two side quests and uh at least one Queen's Blood match. We've got the picture to take. We've got whole proto relic chain, four life stream springs, two summon crystals, four combats, and three more towers. So, I, it's probably gonna mostly just be this today is my expectation. And I think I can fast travel now, so I might, if even if I have time, I might go backwards instead of forwards. But the saucer and and the stuff at the saucer. I mean, that's where the the is this in the saucer or is this? This might be in the in Corel Prison, but um, but yeah, and the saucer stuff that updated. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a day jam packed of no story since I did actually a shocking amount of story between yesterday and the day before. So let me go eat food. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. So yeah, there's the spring that was nearby. Which we'll go say hi to our friend, Mr. Owl. They'll probably show back up. Wanting to take us where we're supposed to go. Or wait. Yeah. further up this way. I think it's going to be a little tricky to get to, so I kind of want the owl to show back up. This area seems like it has some, like, multiple layer type stuff going on. Maybe it was down this way? Seems like it's right down here in this hole. Alright, I don't know where the owl went. But I think we're supposed to go down this pipe. We are going to check out that spring, right? Of course. Tale of Decline. Corel region intel. Let me read it. Coal was in high demand in the days of the Republic, and the wealth of Mount Corel drew miners from far and wide. Though the work was hard and dangerous, the laborers banded together to overcome their difficulties, forming a close-knit community in the process. Alas, the advent of Mako saw the price of coal plummet, spelling disaster for the people of Corel. As they struggled to find a way forward, Shinra proposed the construction of a Mako reactor, and after much debate, the villagers accepted the offer. The reactor was constructed with astonishing haste, but just prior to being brought online, it was torn apart by an immense explosion and has been left in ruins ever since. I like how everybody has a little spot in the buggy. Got a little area of interest. Sorry. 
Alright. Probably not a whole, a whole lot else I can do down this way, huh? Can I get in the water? Oh. Oh. Too deep. Yeah, see, the same thing with these, I don't know how you would fix it. Maybe they don't illuminate until the Remnant Wave Tower is up, but like, I think this Remnant Wave, this tower up here is probably the one that would show me where this, uh, where this thing is, the, the, wherever this is going to show us, but I'm going to find it. According to legends passed down in Corel. Whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shape up. Alexander would smite them. That's just the kind of guy he is. So it looks like we need to... Yeah. Cactuar. I don't like it. Show no mercy. Wait, I got Todd Tifa and Barry in some deal with that. Ah, you're up. Need my help, do you? Ooh, gotta love it. Uh, uh, come on. Uh. Oh, this is a cactrot. Eyes on you. Hang back. Block that back Ready? Yeah. Let's go. I got your number. It's his birthday and he's just a little guy? Well, I have bad news for him. He has stealable planets favor, but that's not... Wait. Favor is the one that I want to steal. Deal with that. All set. Lufa, do you have steel? Shit. Can we focus on getting this? Yeah, there. Come on. Taking care of. Wait, did I kill? Oh no, there he is. And I forgot to check and see if I have steel. There he is. I want to fight the uh, this guy. Come on, come on. Too fast! I don't have steel on the T-Fro. Go! Got it! Hey! I'll bring it there! Take the lead? Alright, Cloud, I got this. Okay! This guy needs to fucking die. Going in. Just like that, okay? Oh, he died. I didn't get the steal. I did get a favor from him, though. 
Um, Cloud, do you have steel? No, Morphin Assess. So my only stealer right now is Yuffie. Yep, he died. Rip his birthday. Oh, this isn't getting the benefit of AP up anymore. Happy birthday, little guy. Let's swap these. I tried to take your shit on his birthday, too. Circle, square, circle, circle. Yet, so I don't know how much of a gimme those are, but so far they seem pretty easy to do. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. Thank you, Chandler. Maybe this is going to be relevant for the Proto Relic or something. There's like a little cage here. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm going to head this way, since this is in the direction of the Proto Relic. stage again, huh? I might want to make some stuff really quick then. Actually kind of running low on planet's favor, or planet's blessings, huh? Well, a high potion uses 10 in one go, which is really nice. And then I can do... More of those. And Aether uses a lot. But I'm probably close to capped on Pearl Ginger. Yeah. I've been trying to use Antidotes when I get poisoned just to have an excuse to use 
sage and pearl ginger root. Let's just actually make a few of these. Realistically, I should just sell them down at sometimes as well. Desert This There's a critter in there. Can I just go through this? No. Probably for the best. I should not just drive the buggy in there and then get it stuck. Knowing my luck. Hey, look, more sage. I'm surprised this isn't a cash location. It seems quite fleshed out. Well. Sometimes the words that I say just really do have a timing to them. Three K Gill. Game's gonna have to start giving me some stuff to actually spend that money on. With the microphone or his trusty Moogle mount, press square to attack or summon his Moogle with a Let's Ride ability, which will unlock more of his ability, his A to B commands as the Moogle attacks. Its triangle meter will still, will still be fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. Hold down square to attack alongside your fuzzy, fuzzy pal, press circle to dismount and triangle to remount. The Moogle will withdraw from the fight once its HP reaches zero, but it can be summoned again at will. So...
So this is its AoE ability. He just can hold this? Dude. Okay, so I have Kitty Wallop. Cloud heal yourself. So, is it... Okay, Let's Ride is the move we'll call. We got dice. Fortune telling. I got a three. Unclear exactly what that did. I just want to try this ability. Nothing to it. Oh, I got a crit. Again, I got a proficiency bonus. Was that? How do I get proficiency bonuses for this weapon that he has? There's so much shit all happening at once. Finish off an enemy. Wow, that was immensely lucky then. Alright, don't worry, bird, I see you, but I came for this chest. Ice materia earrings. This might not be the most efficient way to go get this tower, but I'm going up here anyway. Oh, I didn't expect to be able to get this close. How's it been so far today, Jayla? Any audio desyncs or anything? been good? Okay. Not nearly the shit show that it was last night. We were in a very strange cutscene in Stardew. Boy, that, that 1.6 update must have been huge. They added cutscenes? Like, there's, there's literally new cutscenes?
Hey, Fuzzy. Yeah, being short staffed does suck. Oh, is there something up here? Yeah, I, I realized I, fra I phrased it weird. I realized I phrased it weird. What I meant was there's like actually. Oh. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Spearhawk variant identified. Spearhawk. Commencing guidance protocol. Look closely. What appears to be a beak at first blush is in fact a sharp helix shaped bone protruding from the forehead. It's not for show. While most predatory birds use their talons to hunt, the Spearhawk uses its horn. With one clean thrust, they can skewer their quarry, then slice and dice it with ease. Careful now. We don't want that beautiful face of yours to be poked full of holes. Have to avoid getting stunned. That's gonna suck ass. Analyzing biological data. <laughs> And we failed. I fucking got juggled so hard there. Yo! Leave me the fuck alone, you assholes! Too bad. No! God, the hit stun on these motherfuckers. Like, Jesus Christ. Allow me. What appears to be a in human flesh is in fact a sharp, healing shaped bone protruding from the forehead. Not for show. While most predatory birds use their talons to hunt, the spearhawk uses its horn. With one clean thrust, it Wow, they're almost dead. No, dude. Dude, that shit sucks. In a dangerous territory, that is. Rare Spearhawk variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Look closely. What appears to be a bleak at first blush is a Keep it together. I got it. Oh, Steel, beast pump. I should try to morph this last go. one. Win. Hang back. Now that's the spirit. Oh, double.
A buggy. Buggy. Everything's fine. Dude, they added some, like, pretty honestly realistic physics for how well the wheels can grab onto the terrain and, and allow you to drive. That's crazy. section of the wheels is just not grabbing it. Oh god, you can catch air. Oh jeez. There must be something up there. I got very distracted about going to this Remna Wave Tower though. from this guy. I'm greeting for it. I'll take care of this. Um, she got eaten. It said I could press triangle to get back on it, but maybe it died. Yeah, come on. Break. Oh, I need the uh, I need the oh. 
Just that. So what is over in that other spot then? <sighs> Hop in gang, we're going for another ride. Oh, what's up little guy? This must be the sandstorm. Oh, that's the proto relic. I guess I'm dealing with it right now. Not just a sandstorm. Was I to the warrior's presence? And lo, whither should it lead me? But these sweltering sands. Hi, Greg. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. Okay, Greg. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get. Uh oh. Oh. This form. I can hold it no longer. Oh, 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 down I go. Enemy defeated successfully. So what was that? <sighs> oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. I've never been careful once in my entire life. I'm coming, buddy. We got interrupted. Sorry about that. Normally, I would have made Greg wait.
Oh wait, so did I, not, did I not actually finish it yet? The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto-relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered. Though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra, whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. Oh boy, here we go. Anything that needs a special cat to our door is probably not good news for me. I probably actually should rest at this Chocobo stop really quick. Oh my god. Catchy gets a different party happiness icon than everybody else. Everybody else gets a... Why didn't they do that for Red? Red could have gotten a different one. He doesn't have a human face. Fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? You should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. <sighs> Hold up to raise the... Oh, we're playing fucking Shadow of the Colossus now? That way, huh? Sorry guys, new game plan. I guess we're playing Shadow of the Colossus. for the proto-relic. We'd better find it first. Damn. 
That's going to be a crazy thing to just run into every now and then from here on out until I finish that Proto Relic side, uh, side quest. Ah, you can go you can go way back in here. What is down there? Probably like finding something I don't need to find until later, but there's a cactuar thing in here. Yeah, I bet we're gonna have to look around for different cactuar statues. I bet this is one of them right here. And it looks like, oh, yep, okay, I'm here early. <laughs> There's definitely gonna be a fight in here too. Damn me and my curiosity. Level six. Wait, nothing crazy though. I'm gonna reset this. Gets me 15. I'm just gonna learn this. I mean, we don't see Titan in the real world, so. I don't know how big he actually is. He's only in the simulator. Ah, it says it. It does say it. Learn this ability to strengthen fire materia spells. I see. Let's just get this max HP up. I actually want the core. I actually want this United Refocus core, but it's in too shitty of a spot for me to get. Okay, so you have... Magic Megaphone as a synergy skill... Soldier Moogle class is a synergy ability. It's limit level increase. All out assault. 
We've got United Refocus of Tifa up there. Mayhem go around. Bodyguard. Mega Moogle Mash is locked. Nothing that actually helps me with Yuffie and him being in the same party, actually. It's actually a better partner for Barret or... Tifa, I guess, with United to be focused, but that's kind of a lame one. See, nothing can last forever, and I'm um, getting connection issues again. Which is cool. I don't even know if I can really name that many peanut butter types, or uh, M&M types, to even distinguish them. They're all M&Ms to me. I don't like peanut butter as a candy flavor though, so probably not those. It's not candy. I like peanut butter, but not as candy. I don't think of it as a candy specific or oriented flavor.
Yeah, I, I put it with jam. It's an otherwise good flavor. It just I don't I don't really think of it as a candy flavor, and I don't rate candy that has peanut butter any higher than if it didn't. Most of the time, I would say it decreases the value of, of a candy to me for it to have peanut butter in it. Just not a huge fan. Making it inedible is is quite an extreme change there, Leo. How allergic are we talking? Are we talking like hospital trip if you accidentally lick some, or are we talking like uncomfortable? Oh, where did you even come from? Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, no! Let's finish this. Take the lead. Don't let me down. Let's be a you. Hello. I've not been able to watch live much, but I have been a frequent viewer of your YouTube. Great content. So much to keep me procrastinated. Smiley face. Glad that you are enjoying the YouTube uploads. I've been working pretty hard to make sure they stay consistent. And you're a few months behind still, but it's it's definitely better than it used to be, so... It's about to, it's about to get a bunch of the Final Fantasy content from uh, from the Christmas time, so you're you're a week or two away from uh, Final Fantasy IX playthrough. Pitching in your throat, allergy testing for your allergic get it latex and the list included a lot of nuts. Ah, you can even tell it just fine? And that has hazelnuts. Yeah, I mean, is it is it real hazelnuts or is it hazelnut flavor? Is the trick thing there, so find maple ice cream it's all maple and walnut ah that is a bummer you're not gonna spit out the nuts yeah I don't think I would eat it that would kind of just ruin the ice cream at that point wouldn't it it's like why am I working so hard to eat this food that I'm Oh, you could you could do the ice cream maker route. That could be fun. That could be interesting. Probably not a frequent thing, but like you know, when you're really looking for it, and you're like, hell, I bet I bet you could even find some place that would let you make custom ice cream flavors and ship it to you too. Ice cream is, even though it's like a frozen treat, it's pretty shippable. But 
But it is kind of a bummer that it normally comes with, like, a nut that you can't, you literally just can't eat. <laughs> that sucks. more common than you think. It gives me a similar vibe to salt and vinegar chips. Yeah, it's gotten worse again. We had a good chunk of time. Don't have ketchup flavored chips? I mean... I guess I wouldn't say it's common. I think they exist sometimes in some places, but... Yeah, I, I don't know that I would really eat it. But I'm pretty picky when it comes to sweet stuff, so... That's just kind of a me thing. But yeah, I definitely could eat ketchup flavored chips. I don't know if I would really go out of my way to do so though, because it's not like... I don't think of it as like a flavor that pops off particularly hard. Ketchup is really a side thing, in my opinion.
Well, if your sound is desynced or if there's any video issues, maybe give it a refresh. I think it looks like it's going to stabilize for us here. Hopefully. Say Martha will have them sometimes, yeah. Which I feel like if it's, if it's a tomato flavored chip, that's like basically the same thing. Ketchup is not that much different of a flavor than tomato. And I say that full chested with the complete knowledge that there are probably people who are ketchup haters or tomato haters who are like, but I love ketchup, but I hate tomatoes. Well, bad news for you. You are, you are deluding yourself, unfortunately. They are not different enough. I don't know. I'm checking something really quick. Here, but honestly, it looks like it's balanced out. There might just be some networking problems in general. I'm, I just looked at my, my phone is showing a, um, a bad data connection, not on my Wi-Fi, but on my actual like cell data, which is weird. It's cold here, but I wouldn't think the weather would be causing too much trouble. I probably can just grab this while I'm here. I was gonna keep kind of exploring a little bit, but it looks like it's literally just right down there. How do I get down? Can I get down right there? Close enough. Yeah, it's it's but it's I mean we have a we have a freeze warning tonight. It's that cold, which is like kind of too cold. It's not like ooh, you know, chilly chilly springtime weather. It's like no, your plants are going to freeze and die cold. Which is not really ideal.
the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. This erosion will spread if left unchecked, and eventually, the entire village will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Oh shit. That's a long way away. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would too, but it's planting season in the Midwest, so it's really bad that plants can freeze right now. The weather needs to warm up. Like, it's, it, the crop season has already started, so the fact that we're getting freezing temperature is really bad. I'm comfy as fuck, but, like, it's really bad for the, the farmers and stuff. My mom's getting antsy to plant her garden and shit. Damn sandfish again. Okay. He was just, I think, I think we caught the end of him. I think he was going away. I say, I say cold is good if it was five degrees. If it was five C in my apartment at all times. When I was uh, dealing with hypothermia, and I would say cold is good. Cold is better. Check something. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. A Swallow Song Bracer. Oh. Grade six. I want more of those. Or do you have? I have one of these. I just swapped Cloud off it, actually. That'll work. A little bit extra defense. It is. Refresh. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's just gonna keep happening until I, uh, I tried looking at some stuff. None of the thing, none of the changes that I made have fixed it. So the best thing I can suggest is when, when I or you identify that there's an issue happening, refresh. It's, it seems to sort of cause an impact for few minutes and then it, it'll stop and stabilize again so I'm just gonna try to play through it. I know it sucks. Um, it's super annoying to me, but I, I, uh, I kind of don't have any alternative, unfortunately.
outside. A beautiful buggy. I'm not going in though, so it doesn't matter. I'm just checking around. Seeing if there's anything fun to find up here. Oh yeah, there's a scenic spot right here. Everybody, go to your spots. Why are we not? Why are we not going to spots? All right, we'll, we'll follow this little baby Chocobo and go to his stop, and then we'll come back. Parking garage. Oh. They'll go to their spots now, right? Right. They're usually so quick to go to it. Why are they being so stubborn? Is it the buggy? All right, let's try this. Mini? 
Oh, the spell? I don't know. I don't have one yet. I can check the, uh... Warding says it's poison, binding, time, subversion, petrify, poison, and petrify, subversion, maybe? Also, somewhere in here, there's a menu. Actually, the manual probably has it for battles. Detrimental. No, there are no mini. No mini. All right, well, I'm at my wit's end here with the with the photo op, so I'm gonna save and reload. Just going into photo mode locks the game in the state that they're in right now. When you start it. strange. I don't know why this one is not working correctly. Alright, well, I have an idea. Photo op is gonna be inside the buggy. See if I can get I'll try it. This is going to be another one that goes in the category of I don't love it, I think. Although you can get pretty zoomed in.
You know what? Right? There's kind of a good angle. Yeah, there's kind of a good angle, like right here towards the back where I feel like I could get pretty much everybody in the shot. Yuffie, your face is just barely in the way of that with that window, huh? Let me see if I can get her to change her the way she's looking. That's pretty good. I'll do that. Oh, I can zoom in even further than I thought. bit and then zoom it in a little bit more maybe. so I got a new frame oh nice I gotta, I gotta zoom it out, I think, a little bit then. Actually, let's just take the angle all the way. Oh, plus 10's all I get, all I get. Can I, let's tilt it a little bit too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Um, won't mess with the exposure. What kind of filter? I like the amber filter. The cinematic filter looks actually really nice. I don't like that. And then push the button. And tick. Cool. I actually like the way that one turned out, even though they didn't have, like, a pose outside. I'll forgive them. Somehow. Right here. 
I'm going to have so many Moogle medals, those Moogles are literally not going to know what to do with me. They'll be like, we don't have any more, anything else to give you. You've bought everything and you still have so many. Piercing grenades. Shit, I'm actually almost back up to that do this side quest of the Johnny's. means we'll be outnumbered. Unless... What if we cloned a bunch of barons? They'd blast those baddies into oblivion! And catch us in the crossfire. Uh, okay, what about Tifa? Uh. Thinking naughty thoughts? Oh, shut up. Busted! I thought ninjas were supposed to be silent. Oh, forgive me for interrupting your fantasies. I'll let you get back to being a perp. Got him. Can I can I not drive this further? But but it's my buggy game. There we go. Oh, I can't go in here with the buggy. Alright. That's fine, I actually I need the chocobo. Probably up in this structure. Can I get up here? There's an enemy up there. Up. Up. You just were up there. Can you get up right here? No. Probably gonna have to go through these guys, huh? Bring in the heat. Let's do this. That'll do. Slap you. Let's finish this. Just like that, okay? Nice. 
The enhanced abyssal bangle would be good. I should be able to... Yeah, I can fast travel to that location. I'm gonna go back and buy the ca the rest of the, the boots for the cowboy outfit that I wasn't able to buy before because I have enough gold feathers now. The best way to make Welcome. We're here to serve all your bird related needs. Yes. Excellent. Come back soon! Chocobos for rent right here, folks! Where's the Choco Boutique? Isn't it here? Oh, here it is. We riding. gonna teleport back oh, I bet you'll just yoink the crown right off the king's head can't wait to see it in person just don't keep me waiting too long we Johnny's are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat wait does he not oh, I bet you just don't keep me waiting too Shit. long I we thought he was gonna tell me where I need to go. Wilt in the desert heat. Can I talk to him while I'm in the buggy? He gave me the no sign. All right, I guess I gotta find him on my own. Hostess is proud to announce the judges for this year's Hostess Snack Cake Ding Dong e Tathon. Judging teeth exposure it's the Karate Kid himself, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Judging bite depth, put on your party hats it's Helena Bonham Carter. Judging facial satisfaction, nine-time champion Mariah Carey. And judging grip, flea. You're gonna... I... You're, I... I have no words. I feel like you're gonna have to let us in on the larger joke here eventually, but I am truly mystified as to what is going on that results in these TTS reviews. I regret everything. Probably flee from the red hot chili peppers would be my guess. <laughs> Since it's all actual people. I guess I should check those transmitter recipes I got. Oh, 
Oh, I can turn favors into venison. That's really good. Costs a fair amount of sage and pearl ginger root, which is good. Use that shit up. You don't know who Jean-Claude Van Damme is? Yes, you do. Surely you do. Surely you've at least heard the name before. He's an action hero uh, star from the from the 80s and I'd probably give him early 90s as well. Yeah, the I mean, I've I've never seen Karate Kid, but that's not what I would say is his most famous appearance. Also, I I don't is Jean-Claude Van Damme even in the he's not. He's he's not. I didn't think so. Ralph Macchio uh Maybe the only name that I actually recognize from that. Yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme is not in the Karate Kid. Um. I swear he was in a Rocky movie. He's known for double impact, kickboxer, double team, and nowhere to run. He's in Bloodsport in 1998. Time Cop in 1994. He was Guile in the Street Fighter movie. Well, he was Guile in multiple Street Fighter movies. was not in a Rocky movie. Gosh, I could have sworn he was. He's in he was a voice in Kung Fu Panda 2. He was in The Expendables 2. He's in Alien Uprising. Yeah. 
and Kung Fu Panda 3. Oh, he's the voice of... Uh... Oh, okay. There's something weird going on here. He's in Mortal Kombat 1 and is credited as Johnny Cage voice as Jean-Claude Van Damme. So I'm, what I'm guessing is that Johnny Cage mimics Jean-Claude Jean -Claude Van Damme at some point, but that they just actually got him to mimic himself as Johnny Cage? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. That's a weird credit. Uh, he was in Minions, The Rise of Gru. Obviously, the movie that everybody's seen. Anyway, I wouldn't say that he's nearly as prolific as somebody like um, Sylvester Stallone or something like that, but he's a pretty big action movie guy. The MK1 credit is for a costume for Johnny Cage where it's just Jean-Claude Van Damme. There you go. There you go. They just made a costume that is just that guy for Johnny Cage. So he gets to do all of Johnny Cage's voice lines for when that costume is on, apparently. Which, honestly, that's a pretty big fucking credit. If he redoes all the lines or even does new lines for Johnny... Uh, for when the costume is on. That's like a shitload of work. I imagine. To go through and redo all those lines. What do we need? Oh, we need the Tonberry King's robe for the Karmic Cowl. Vitality and Spirit by 30, immunity to slow and instant death. That is a good item. Very defensive. Pretty big deal for them since Johnny Cage was always just a parody of Van Damme. Oh, that's that's really cool. That's super duper cool. I don't know what I need this bird trap for, but I guess I'll make it. That's really neat. Yeah, like a B-tier action movie star is very much... That's so cool. I want to be able to make these! But I have to go to Gengaga. Well, I should probably make sure I go through and add a few more things to the, the old list then, whatever I didn't finish. Did I finish everything? Uh, the cowl, but that'll probably get done pretty quick. I guess that's it. Alright. My item, my item transmitter list is more or less exactly the same as where I left it off. Again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for the, the team can't think of their their company name for some reason, but the team that's behind the Mortal Kombat games, because that was probably a super That was probably a super fun thing to get to do for them. Nether Realm, that's it. There you go. I knew you'd have my back as soon as I just floundered on knowing it. Yeah, like I said, I mean, he's like a, he hasn't been in like a ton of stuff, but he's very much made a name for himself as, so there was, there was a time in Hollywood and the movie industry where one of the things that could make you a movie star or somebody who was able to pull certain roles in movies was just being really fucking buff. That's Jean-Claude Van Damme, like in a nutshell. 
He's honestly just a really strong dude. He's from Brussels, and his very, very bulky figure and sort of like himbo-esque physique just like locked him in as you are a big strong guy and Hollywood needs big strong guys for action movies so we're going to put you in action movies and you're going to be a big strong guy and that's like kind of it there's it's not any more complex or complete than that Pretty much all you need to know about it. You can do it, Buggy. I believe in you. You can get up this. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Around that corner. There you go. I mean, I'm not going to try to change your mind. I think it depends very much on what you're looking for in a movie. Some people might enjoy that flavor. But there are other flavors from different times that may or may not be more enjoyable depending on what you like. It can very easily be said that uh, the movies from that time frame did not put much thought into a uh, into a lot of stuff about the movie other than how big the explosions were. And that might be your jam, and that's okay, but it's not mine. I would much rather watch Mission Impossible uh, than watch um, uh, Rambo. If you're looking at two movies that I would categorize as action movies, even from that time era, that I think perform wildly differently based on your expectations. There sure are a lot of cactuar here. I have a sneaking suspicion I might be onto something for this statue. Oh. Okay, guys. Gloves up. How did I find this without I don't know the tower? Rare sand spitter variant detected. Fucking sand I bet it's this tower right here. I should have just gone to it. Commencing guidance protocol. The doom dwelling sand spitters subsist on a diet of desert insects, which it ingests along with a heaping helping of grit and rock. Note that it doesn't immediately regurgitate this excess. The creature holds it in reserve as a weapon to fell more prey. Such evolutionary adaptations are simply par for the course in this arid biome. Analysis of this variant will offer us greater insight into life in the desert. Your assistance is much appreciated. All right, shit lords. Currently Don't overdo it. Leave it to me. This one's a showstopper. Come and get me, assholes. Oh, You're gonna love this one. Come on. Is that not enough to knock? Them? Okay, these guys are feistier than. There we go. Sloppy. No bean can stand against you. Your test was right. That should be you. 
There's a lot of stuff from the 80s and 90s that would be worth giving a, giving a watch. There's there's quite a few good movies from that from that era. 